as far as I know, um, World Photographic Society established 1853 for over uh, 150 years. Yes, indeed. <laughs> the successful of the society is uh, they have a distinction system. Can you explain to our watchers? I certainly can. Two thirds of our members have these distinctions and it is a means of encouraging our members and potential members to focus in on their photography and learn more and achieve. Uh, distinctions applications can be made with still images or with research, education and scientific qualifications we have as well. But I'm going to focus on the still images. And those distinctions are at three levels. The first is a licentiateship, which is an LRPS. And for that, applicants need to put in 10 images. And we are looking for quite a high standard of competence at photography. Making, we need to see that people know very well how to handle their camera and have a seeing eye and a good understanding of taking pictures that a photographer would take, not just anybody would take. We're also looking for quite a high standard of technical quality, either in prints or projected images. As far as I know, associateship uh, requires much higher standard than licentiate. Yes. Can you explain to our watchers? It, it certainly does require that higher standard. We are looking here for a, a photographer whose work has a personal aspect to it, and that is coming across in their work. We are looking for a much higher standard of seeing, much higher technical standard, and it, it is quite hard to achieve. When we get up to the associateship or the fellowship, we have different categories of photography as well, and some people will put in, in visual art. Contemporary. Huh? Contemporary we have, and also travel, nature, and then professional and applied. So there's lots of choice as to where people's work might go. As far as I know, um, there is professionalism. Yes. And the professionalism reflect their own professional work or their personality uh, their personal or work. their personal preference? They can do either. Mm. Uh, with the prof professional and applied panel, uh, they may put in different aspects of their professional work as well. With prints, the work is often is, is displayed in two or three rows, and they may choose to have different rows of different aspects of their professional work. Or they can put their personal work in, if it fits in that category, it can still go in, amateurs can put in it into the professional and applied. Or they may choose to go into one of the other categories with their personal work. In addition to licentiateship, and associateship, there is uh, the fellowship. Yes, the fellowship is the real gold standard. And it's the highest standard required it, by the RPS. It is the highest standard and it has got to be very top quality work, very individual. It is a, a, a photographer who is either doing something quite new and innovative or working at the very top level of their style, that type of photography. And they are looking at the body of work. Here we have 20 images, and that would normally be prints. Um, we haven't yet taken digital work there, and we don't really see many slides now. So <laughs> in, in realis realistic terms, it's prints. Mm -hmm. And it has to be very, very good. Last year, I visited uh, RPS. Yes, indeed. I was... saw the photographs. Yes. And I saw the slide for the association. And really, I think um, for the print, they have the advantage over the slide. It's difficult to say. Um, I think some people find it's quite difficult putting in work to project when you've perhaps only seen it on your desktop screen. Yes. Um, it's a little bit like with slides, 
when we were using slide film, just looking at it on the light box and sending it off without projecting it. Yes. So I think there is that difficulty. Mm -hmm. um, so some of the applications, we perhaps don't get as many applications of the right standard yes. on the uh, digitally yeah. as we do printed, but the standard is the same. The standard is the yes, same. Yes, the standard is the same. Thank you very much for Thank coming you, to Hong Kong. It's been a pleasure. And um, we wish uh, we can uh, both society have much more inter exchange. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Goodbye. 各位觀眾又係照片天下有獎文答遊戲嘅時間。今集嘅題目就係坐喺我身邊嘅 Rosemary Wilman， 佢係英國邊個會嘅會長咧？答對而又被抽中嘅，可以攞到。Rosemary 呢一本攝影集，多謝。